Hey all and welcome to my channel. This video should serve as a very brutal reminder of what's going to happen in the future, unless we fight automation and censorship. This is a homeowner's account of being completely tech connected, a self-proclaimed Amazon fanboy. So as all the gadgets to brag about, you know the, the, the sort. <laughs> this is where the word smart comes into the equation. As you know, I personally think if they have to tell you something smart, it's anything but smart. And you would be foolish to think these devices are to make your life easier. And I do believe that we have rock, rock, rock optics. And I'm, I'm not using that as an exaggeration. The digital age is being applauded while also being able to do this to someone's life. Now, the gentleman's called Brandon and he said this. Due to the, this experience, I am seriously considering discontinuing my use of Amazon Echo devices and I will caution others about this incident. So that's fanboy to hater in a, one incident. So let's find out exactly what's happened, shall we? Now, this is a precautionary tale for us. So pass it out. Let people know what can happen if you connect your life through your technology gadgets. I'll read out Brandon's story and hope that people wake up. Before I do, let me say, I know, I know, you that watch my videos already saw this coming. We predicted it even, didn't we? And we were called theorists for it, or worse. Here's our proof, so make sure you pass this out. We'll have a read through what he says. On Wednesday, May the 31st, 2023, I finally regained access to my Amazon account after an unexpected and unwarranted lockout that lasted nearly a week. From Thursday, May the 25th. This wasn't just a simple inconvenience, though. I have a smart home. Are you seeing where this is going then? <laughs> and my primary means of interfacing with all the devices and automations is through Amazon Echo devices like Alexa. This incident left me with a house full of unresponsive devices, a silent Alexa, and a lot of questions. Unpacking the cause. The sequence of events that led to this digital exile began innocuously enough. A package was delivered to my house on Wednesday, May the 24th, and everything seemed fine. The following day, however, I found that my Echo Show had signed out and I was unable to interact with my smart home devices. My initial assumption was that someone might have attempted to access my account repeatedly, triggering a lockout. So he's immediately jumped to giving them excuses. I use a fairly old email address for my Amazon account and it's plausible that an old password might have been exposed in a past data breach. However, I currently use strong auto-generated passwords via Apple and employ two-factor authentication with an authenticator app. So unauthorized access seemed unlikely. I swift checked my other accounts, social media, streaming apps, etc. to ensure I hadn't been compromised. All seemed normal, with no flood of notifications from Microsoft Authenticator that would in indicate an attempted breach. Puzzled, I followed the advice of the Amazon app and dialed the customer service number it provided. This is when things began to take a surreal turn. Surreal as in, he realized just how much of a hold he had they had over his life now. An unexpected accusation. The representative on the phone told me that I should receive an email, which I indeed found in my inbox. It was from an executive at Amazon. That's unusual for a start, isn't it? As I dialed the number provided in the email, I wondered if he, Amazon was experiencing some issues and I was unwittingly falling into a scam. When I connected with the executive, you would do though, wouldn't you? An executive wouldn't normally contact you through me email asking you to give him a ring. When I contacted the, with the executive, they asked if I knew why my account had been locked. When I answered I was insured, their tone turned somewhat accusatory. I was told that the driver who had delivered my package reported receiving racist remarks from my Ring doorbell. That's another Amazon product. It's actually a Eufy, but I'll let it slide. Addressing the problem, here's where things got even more baffling. First, I have multiple cameras recording everything that happens on my property. If the driver's claims were accurate, I could easily verify them with video footage. Second, most delivery drivers in my area share the same race as me and my family. It seemed highly unlikely that we would make such remarks. Finally, when I asked what time the alleged incident occurred, I realised it was practically impossible for anyone in my house to have made those comments, as nobody was home around that time, approximately 6.05pm. I reviewed the footage and confirmed that no such comments had been made. Instead, the Ufi doorbell had issued an automated response, Excuse me, can I help you? The driver who was walking away and wearing headphones must have misinterpreted the message. Nevertheless, by the following day, my Amazon account was locked and all of my Echo devices were locked out. Let me be clear, I fully support 
Amazon taking measures to ensure the safety of their drivers. However, I question why my entire smart home system had to be rendered unusable during their internal investigation. It seems more and more sensible to impose a temporary delivery restriction or purchasing ban on my account. Submitting video evidence from the multiple angles right after my initial call with the executive appeared to have little impact on their decision to disable my account. So even now, even now with everything turned off, he's trying to be reasonable. And Amazon are completely ignoring him. Not a fallout, he says. This incident has led me to question my relationship with Amazon. I bet it, has, it should make everybody's question their relationship with Amazon. Things we've been warning about for quite a while, isn't it, everyone? After nearly a decade of loyalty, I've been given a harsh reminder that a misunderstanding can lead to such drastic measures. It seems more reasonable to handle such, such issues in a more com compartmentalised way rather than a blanket shutdown of all services. Due to this experience, I am seriously considering discontinuing considering discontinuing my use of Amazon Echo devices and will caution others about this in incident. I would actually have been a lot more brutal than that. You're considering it, are you? You're not actually just going to go and sod this and not having that power over me again. How dare you? No, 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 no. He's just considering it. This ordeal is <laughs> this ordeal has made a case for a more personalised home assistant system, perhaps utilising Raspberry Pi devices scattered around the house. Maybe, maybe you should take this as a life lesson, Brandon, and realise that connecting your life up with tech will always result in you being restricted using said same tech. It's like out of the frying pan and into the fire, isn't it? Just jumping straight into another one. The resolution, he said, despite promptly submitting video evidence immediately upon learning of the issue, my account remained blocked. The timing could have, couldn't have been worse. The onset of Labor Day weekend was approaching and I was keen to resolve the issue before the long weekend. However, despite numerous calls and emails, it wasn't until Friday afternoon that I received confirmation that the investigation had started. So they fobbed him off and fobbed him off and fobbed him off. I was told to expect a response within two business days, meaning not until Tuesday of the following week at the earliest. So his entire weekend was spoilt. Labor Day is a long weekend. So all of it was spoilt. Very nice, isn't it? This is a fanboy, or was a fanboy, I should say. <laughs> In the end, my account was unlocked on Wednesday with no follow-up email to inform me of the resolution. This incident stands as a stark reminder of the need for better customer service and a more nuanced approach to incident management. No, it... it it stands as a stark reminder that you shouldn't be doing this. Your tech should not own you. And at the minute, it does. And you're looking at other, other options for it to continue to own you. Through sharing my experience, I hope to encourage Amazon to reform and think their approach to handling such situations in the future is essential for customers to feel confident in the security and reliability of their services. They proved both of them inadequate. Have they not? Especially when those services are integral to the functionality of their homes. It's time for Amazon to take a more customer-focused approach to problem-solving and conflict resolution. Let me just say this at this point. His home is an Amazon smart home. He got a package delivered through Amazon by an Amazon driver. His doorbell was an Amazon product, and he's the one that was shut down. Wouldn't you have thought, considering it's supposed to be connected, all interconnected, that Amazon would have been able to look at this in seconds and figure out that it was a mistake and give him his account back? But they didn't. Why is that? Is it because they want to make sure the world knows they look like they're doing something to protect their staff? Considering all of the bad publicity they've had recently for treating the staff like excrement... <laughs> I think it's probably that. Let me know what you think, though. It's a stark reminder, isn't it, everyone, that your tech owns you if you let it. So pass this out to everyone that's got their head in the phones all the time or inside the tech or have Alexa in the home or Siri. All of these invasive products are detrimental to your health. Pass it on. Let me know what you think. Stay sane. See you on the next one.